friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content. Uh, today we're going to do a book unhaul and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I grasp the concept that I look a hot mess today, but I was actually not planning on doing this video. I was just going to unhaul some books. But as I'm looking at my shelves, I'm thinking, I feel like some of these we need to talk about. So we're just going to go through my shelves and I'm going to talk through some things. I know some specific books that I'm already like giving the eye to that I know are going to go. Um, and there are books, some of them that you probably would never have thought that I would get rid of. So it's going to be an interesting time. I think we'll start on the side over here, which is my, I'm going to we're gonna move you over here. Over here, this bottom shelf is my adult romance. And then uh, basically this whole shelf here all the way across is Susan Dennard and Marissa Meyer. There is one book on the end by Taryn Mathrow, um, but that's just because I don't know where to put his books currently. Um, and also there's stuff stacked everywhere because I am, I'm not out of space. I just knew that I was going to be unhauling books. So I haven't moved anything. Yeah. Okay. And above that, the shelf, which you can't see very well because lights, um, I'll figure out a better lighting position. Um, but the shelf is, uh, mystery thrillers and horror. And then the shelf above is middle grade. And then all the way up there at the top is, well, some classics, some stuff that I'm not sure how to categorize. And then the very top is, uh, nostalgia books books that in the past I've not been ready to get rid of, but maybe are not the best books ever. Things that we don't ever talk about on the channel. Things like that. I mean, you'll see House of Night over there as well. Am I going to pull anything off of that top shelf? So this is where we're going to start this top shelf. Let's start there. So this top shelf has the first 12 books of the House of Night series. Okay. All 12 books of the House of Night series. Some of them are missing because my niece currently is borrowing those. Um, and then the House of Night novellas, all of those are staying. I'm not ready to part with those yet. I have too much emotional baggage tied up in that series. So it's, it's not, it'll probably never leave. Okay. It's probably going to stay forever. Uh, we then have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate, uh, Fallen Torment, Passion, Rapture, Fallen in Love, and then Unforgiven. Am I ready to get rid of those? I mean, theoretically, I really should be. I really should be ready to let go of those. I really, really should be ready to let go of those. But I don't know if I'm ready yet. Okay, let's make a deal with myself. If I get rid of 20 books, those can stay. If I don't get rid of 20 books, then those have to go. Deal with myself. Okay. We then have Beautiful Creatures and Dangerous Creatures series. Those are staying. Uh, we then have the Rebel Bell Trilogy by Rachel Hawkins. I love Rachel Hawkins, but honestly, I hate that series and those can go. I need my stepladder. A lot of these series I've been holding on to for a really long time. This one, I really loved this first book. The second book was not good. And the third book had an ending that removed everything that happened in the other two books. And so these guys can go. After that, Hunger Games. Hunger Games stays. After that, Night World by LJ Smith. I really loved this series. However, there is supposed to be 10 books in the series and they only ever published nine. The 10th book never came out. There is no ending to the series. It can go. If I can get them off the shelf. Um, let's see. There's not very much light up here. I apologize for the lack of light. Uh, next we have Wicked Witch. Curse, Legacy, Spellbound, and Resurrection. These three, they're staying. I'm actually getting ready to reread those. Paradise by Toni Morrison stays. This Strange Candy by Laurel K. Hamilton has one of my favorite short stories of all time in it. It stays. Princess Bride, The Wall, Phone Booth at the Edge of the World. This one, Will I ever read? No. Also, I don't know that these are technically in a, any kind of an order that makes any sense. There were some good parts of that, so I will hold on to that one. 
I did like Almond. Um, for Fahrenheit 451 is my favorite classic, which I do need to reread. And then The Scarlet Letter and The Curse of Monte Cristo. I will never read this, but it stays. Uh, actually, you know what? It could go. Mostly it was staying because it was holding up the end of the thing here. And we don't talk about anything over there. We don't talk about none of that. Okay, back to the floor you go. Also, if you hear weird noises in the background, that is the vacuum running in the other room. And uh, my house needs to be clean, so you're just going to have to not be bothered. All right, let's see what happens here lighting-wise. If that helped, hurt, made me want to cry. Next we have Chronicles of Narnia. Those stay. Don't know why, but they do. They just stay. Um, all of my Creepover series, those stay. Uh, Sarah Normal series stays. Probably all of the mid-grade is going to stay, let's be honest. City of Ghost stays, 13 stays, all of my Ellen O stays, all of my Ortega stays, Holes stays, Mary Bloody Mary. I have been dragging Mary Bloody Mary around for literally since I was in middle school. She stays. Magisterium series by uh, Holly Black and Cassie Clare. I actually really like that series. I need to get the fifth book in paperback and get rid of that uh, fifth book, but um, yeah, they stay. What else is here? Everything stays. Other Boys, Mystic School of Ma Music Craft, The Nightmares Trilogy, Glass Witch, all the impossible things, Hocus Pocus, and the all-new sequel. You know what? That can go. You can't even see that, can you? It's, it's right here. This can go. <sighs> Wanda stays, and then the rest is Percy Jackson. Percy stays. It gets a little weird in here, but we're going to go with it. Uh, Strange the Dreamer. I... I'm on the edge because I liked-ish Strange the Dreamer, but I don't know if I'm ever going to read Muse of Nightmares. So, like, do I need to keep it? I don't know. We'll see. Fate of the Fallen stays. Of course, Mercedes Lackey stays. All of the Schwab stays. All of the Brando Sando stays. Not much of it, but it's there and it stays. This is why I have not had a good time. Try I've not been putting books back. It's fine. Um, but these are all Creepover Sarah Normal. Those go up there. Uh, most of these are mid-grade and go up there, except for Station Eleven. Uh, Legends and Lattes stays. Tolkien stays. That my friend gets us to horror. Uh, Darcy Coates obviously stays. Uh, Meddling Kids, Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Memory Police, The Good Sister, The Dry, The Lost Man, Her Buried Lives. Resting Place, Jane Harper stay. Megan Collins stays. Catherine Ryan Howard stays. Stay, stay, stays. Feeney stays. Simone St. James stays. Cal's Marshall, of course, stays. She's the queen. Hepworth, Golden, and Sager. House of Leaves. All stays. Cool. Some more down here that needs to go up there, but that's a problem for another day. Okay. Um, this whole shelf stays because it's Susan Dennard and Marissa Meyer. And I don't think I'm getting rid of any of that, so that can all stay. We don't even need to see that shelf. The whole shelf stays. These, they all stay. Um, I Liz L. Sanberry, Tracy Dion, F.T. Lukens, Carolina Donahue. These guys are my heroes. They all stay. We're in adult romance and this will probably also all stay. Uh, Xantopolis, Gail Carriger, X Hex, Witch's Guide to Dating a Demon, The Witch's Back. These are all very similar books. Not The Witch You Wed, but I love them all. Um, my Ashley Poston, my Abby Waxman, which I love. Allie Hazelwood's Love Hypothesis, I know, she stays, but it's the only one, okay? I promise. Um, Book Lovers, the Spark Sisters Trilogy by Helena Hunting, uh, the Well Met series by Jen DeLuca, Romance Book Club series, um, That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon. And then down here on the end is like a weird amalgamation of tall books. Um, Addie LaRue stays, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, of course stays. Um, another version of Addie LaRue and uh, Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. So my Emily Henry. I, I need to get the short Emily Henry's instead of the book of the month ones, but it's a problem for another Jessica. Also, as I said on the shelf up here, there's also the novice and it obviously stays. There's also these, but I literally just put these on the shelf yesterday. So obviously they stay. Uh, because we're at the appropriate height for this and this is the only books on this part of the shelf, uh, we have, uh, well, hold on. Actually, we have Medusa. She's over here by herself. Um, she stays. But uh, Nature of Witches, the other trilogy by Rachel Hawkins, which I fucking love. It's one of my favorites. Stays. Um, Isabel Sterling stays. Undead Girl Gang, Winterwood, Bewitch, 
I'll stay. My witchy paperback girlies, they get to hang out. We have some Holly Black. Uh, this is the Cool Prince Trilogy, Stays. Spinning Silver, I loved Stays. Uh, Heart of Betrayal series. No, this is not, this is not the order that these books go in. You're fired, Jessica. Kiss of Deception Trilogy. Stays. Ember in the Ashes. Stays. Six of Crows. Shadow and Bone. They all stay. Everything on the shelf is probably going to stay, honestly. Um, Hunter Trilogy. One of my favorites. Grave Maidens. Love it. Lake's Edge, despite the fact that I did DNF the second book in this duology. I loved this book enough that I'm going to keep it. And I am going to pretend that it is one book. And it just had a very sad ending. Okay. This Poison Heart stays. Daughter of the Pirate King, Daughter of the Siren Queen, Sarah Glenn Marsh, all stay. My Adrian Young collection. I am waffling on getting rid of The Last Legacy because I didn't like it as much as I did the rest of the books in the series and it doesn't, I mean, it's like the third book in the fable namesake, this world. Um, I, I didn't love it. Now I looked and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, but I don't remember loving it. So I've been waffling on this one today and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we will, I'll think on that one a little more. Everything here stays. This is my YA creepy stuff. Sasha Lawrence, Kat Ellis, um, Kate Alice Marshall, Crystal Sutherland. There's some other stuff down there that you probably can't see, but there's a desk there, so I can't really get much closer. But I guess I can get this close. Um, let's see what else is down there. The Devouring Grey, The Wicked Deep, Resurrection Girls, Cemetery Boys, some Mindy McGinnis, some Katrina Leno, another copy of Undead Girl Gang. Because um, I had to have two copies. I probably don't need both copies, honestly, but I'm not prepared to let them go yet. So they're just going to hang out. And then, as I said, my Crystal Sutherland. And I mean, like, this is my favorite book of all time. And if you haven't read it yet, what the fuck is wrong with you? Look at her. She is gorgeous. Read her. Okay, next shelf. Uh, next shelf. This is a whole bunch of Cassie Clare. Those are all staying. Okay, just so we're all aware. And then Vampire Academy and Bloodlines all stays. This is Maureen Johnson, some Adeline Rue, um, Pale Queen Rising, and then all of my Amanda Hawking books, which I have a whole shit ton of. And then my first bind up of the sweep series and then toil and trouble which was like a bind up but you know what does leave in nightfall i love this cover i love her she's beauty she's grace this book was awful okay again darkness i would love to get more light over here but i really don't know how so this is where things get interesting and you guys are going to question all of me so this stacked over here right here is the Mortal Instruments graphic novels and the Infernal Devices graphic novels. I can't grab those right now because of desk, but those are all going. They are gone. They did not exist. I do not like Cassandra Jean's artwork. I'm, I'm not putting any more money into buying the graphic novels for the Immortal Instruments series, so um, those can all go. Okay, uh, next, a whole heck and heat ton of Cassie Clare books. So the Shadowhunters Codex stays Tales from Shadowhunter Academy stays. Bane Chronicles stays. Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness are all leaving. Why? Because I have them, because I have them right here. And the paperbacks, and I prefer these paperbacks to those hardbacks. So they're going. I don't have doubles of all of the other books in the series. I don't know why. I feel like I need to have doubles of those. Ghost Shadowhunter Market stays. Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron both stay. Um, I don't have Chain of whatever the other, whatever the new one is. I don't even remember. Haven't read it yet, don't know, haven't bought it. If they have these paperback covers of those, I will eventually buy those and get rid of those as well. Red Scrolls of Magic, they stay. Um, I can't, again, can't grab those right now because desk. 10 Blind Dates, 10 Truths and a Dare, those stay. This Heart of Mine, CC Hunter, stays. Andy Thomas, they stay. Moxie, Rebel Girls, The Nowhere Girls. Moxie the movie was better than Moxie the book, but I'm not ready to let go of the book yet. Rebel Girls, I did really like. Nowhere Girls, not my fave. It can go. Um, I am a Lord's Stay, um, Amelia on a Bridge. That book is so fucking heartbreaking and so good and I loved it. None of the Above stays. That is a very interesting one for um, learning about people who are intersex. I mean, it is a fiction novel, don't get me wrong, um, but it was an interesting 
read for someone who had not really had a lot of knowledge about people who are intersex. So even from like a fictionalized format, if you are, you know, have a teen in your life, that might be an interesting one for them to be more understanding of other people. The only thing worse than me is you stays. Um, Perfect on paper is one of my favorites. That one has some really good bi representation and really talks about bi erasure. Loved that book. Um, Felix Ever After, fucking loved it stays forever. I've said in the past and will continue to say a lot of my YA sticks around because of my nieces. I do really enjoy those books but also I think things about um, people who have transitioned or people who are LGBTQ I think are helpful for teenagers to have so I like to have those available just in case our library you know gets attacked by people who are stupid. The Truly Devious series Despite how much I hated Nine Liars, can stay. One of Us is Lying, Stranger Games, Ivy's all stays. Stalking Jack the Ripper series stays. Obviously Heartstopper stay. No one's getting rid of that. Um, and the Witch series, which I am currently still reading, stays. This is some horrible lighting. If I do this, that's a little better, but not much. But they all stay. I do expect there to be a good amount of casualties from up here. So let's see what happens. It's all the boys I love before stays. And I did like Burn for Burn. Those were good, those can stay. 13 Little Blue Envelopes. Ooh. See, I feel the same about this as I do about the Casey West. Like, I did genuinely like it. I'm never gonna reread it. Do I need to hold on to it? Like, I don't know. I'll come back to that. Uh, Meet Cute stays, because I liked it. Ghost House, hmm. Ghost House can go. I'm never gonna read the sequel and it adds some, I almost DNF'd it at one point too, so like it can go. Um, the third twin can go. This, this is like, this is one of those hard ones because it's like What the Dead Want, I really liked, but I'm never gonna reread it. Do I need to keep it? No. Princess Diaries, do I need to keep it? No. Do I ever plan to keep reading the series? Not really. The How My Private Personal Journal Became a Bestseller. I really don't even like the book. I liked the movie. So like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Avalon High, you stay. No, what the dead one stays. It stays, okay, it stays. This book was actually published by a person that I met online and they have never written anything else. And it was like part of a series and I just don't feel like that's a good enough reason to hold on to something. So it can go. I'm still thinking about the Casey West and the Maureen Johnson, okay? I'm still thinking about it. Give me a minute. Um, In a Mirror by Emily Bourne. She stays. Uh, Dumplin stays. Simon versus the Homo Sapien Agenda stays. Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. She can go. What if it's us? King GTFO. You know what? While I'm up here, oh, the Lauren Kate's leaving. I know I said I was going to wait and see how many books I unhauled, but uh, while I'm here, I'm already here. I'm already thinking about it. It can go. I'm really struggling, guys. I'm <laughs> really. Whew. I am having a time. Over here we have a mess. That's what we have over here, a mess. A muck, a muck, a muck. Um, paint green obviously stays. Those were fantastic. Becca Smith obviously stays because Becca C. Smith is my buddy and I love her. Uh, also, I like her books, so they stay. Slay stays. Goddess in the Machine. I really liked this book. I actually think I gave it five stars, maybe four. However, I'm never gonna read the sequel, so it can go. I didn't like how it ended, and I, I'm just not interested in the sequel, so it can go. Renegades, will I ever get to the sequel of Renegades? Who knows? I own it, but it just languishes in the land of not being read. Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Krista Miller, those stay, I really like those. Empress of a Thousand Skies and Blood of a Thousand Stars. Those are really good. I liked those. Starflight Stallar Fall. Good. Star Daughter uh, by Shvita Takrar. Stays. Um, and then I just have this stack of Christmas books over here. And I think I'm going to get rid of Let It Snow because of Lauren Miracle. It's a hot fucking mess. I'm also going to get rid of Snow and Love because I don't remember any of these stories. So they can go too. Besides that, the only other thing up here are, well, those, but those all stay because those are like history books, uh, is this stack of memoirs. And I think I'm going to get rid of the Anna Kendrick one. 
and keep the rest. Uh, Lily Collins, Felicia Day, Carrie Ellis, Carrie Fisher, and a collection of short stories by Marina Keegan, which is heartbreakingly beautiful, and I love it. So, for Anna Kendrick, she can go. I still like Anna Kendrick, but I don't need her memoir. Though, to be fair, do I need the memoir of Lily Collins or Felicia Day either? No, not particularly, but those we're holding on to anyway because I said so. All right, I'm gonna take one last look around, collect all the things that I pulled off the shelves, and then we'll go over everything that I have decided to get rid of. All right, I think I got everything, so let's go through them very quickly. How My Personal, How My Private Personal Journal Became a Bestseller by Julie DeVillers. I don't need this. Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. Uh, the Third Twin by CJ Omamalu. Ghost House by Alexandra Adonetto. Elemental Reality by Sasha Cuomo. The first three of the Mortal Instruments graphic novels by Cassie Clare and Cassandra Jean. That was all of them hitting the floor. Uh, these are the Infernal Devices trilogy of graphic novels um, by Cassandra Clare. Uh, the Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. In Nightfall by Suzanne Young. Hocus Pocus in the all new sequel. They don't tell you who these are by. The Rebel Bell trilogy by Rachel Hawkins. Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassie Clare. I did while I was up there decide to pull down the Fallen series by Lauren Kate. I don't think, I think I met the 20 book requirement to not have to pull these off, but no, they're going. The first nine books in the Night World series, which technically I don't think I have actually finished reading them, I ended on chapter 18 of Black Dawn, which was book eight because I found out that they didn't continue to book 10 and all nine of these books are leading up to like a huge multi-universal battle and um, book 10 never came out. So getting rid of all nine of these. Count of Monte Cristo, or as we call it now, The Curse of Monte Cristo. Every time Kate and I tried to read this last year, something terrible happened, like death and dismemberment and maiming and just really bad things happened every time we tried to read it. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of it. You know what? You know what? Just for the sake of not wanting to be run over by a bus tomorrow, I'm going to hold on to this one. This one, this one, it stays. It's, it's, you know, I'm, listen, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little bit stitious and I think this one has to stay. I fear the wrath of that book if I actually get rid of it. Uh, what If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson. A Memoir by Anna Kendrick. And Snow and Love by Melissa De La Cruz, Nick Stone, Amy Friedman, and Casey West. If my math serves me correctly, that was 35 books. That's it. That's all I got. Um... If you made it this far in the video, leave me a snow-related emoji. I just looked over and this was the one that was on top. Um, a snow-related emoji in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you have read any of these and if you would be willing to let them go or not. Or if you've seen something on my shelves that you're like, girl, why are you still holding on to that? Let me know. Uh, that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner-related content a couple times a week. Um, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!